When your Milwaukee M18 battery isn't charging and you don't have a charger available, jump starting can provide the solution you need. The problem starts when your battery won't respond to charging. This can happen due to deep discharge or battery management system protection. The first method uses another charged Milwaukee M18 battery. Connect positive terminal to positive terminal and negative terminal to negative terminal. You can also use an 18 volt or 20 volt battery from other brands like Bosch. The voltage compatibility allows for effective jump starting. A DC power supply set to exactly 18 volts and one amp can also jump start your battery. It's crucial not to exceed these values to avoid damaging the battery. Another method involves briefly shorting the battery terminals, then immediately connecting the battery to a drill and pulling the trigger to activate it. Finally, you can try repeatedly inserting the battery into the charger with firm pressure. Do this about 10 times. Each connection can build a small charge that eventually allows normal charging. Remember these safety guidelines. Always match voltage specifications, keep current low at one amp maximum, work in a well-ventilated area, and stop immediately if the battery becomes hot. Proper troubleshooting and maintenance are essential for maximizing your Milwaukee M18 battery performance and lifespan. We'll walk through systematic diagnostic steps to identify and resolve common battery issues. Start with a thorough visual inspection. Clean all battery and tool contacts using isopropyl alcohol to remove dirt, corrosion, and debris that can prevent proper electrical connection. Cross-testing helps isolate the problem. Insert a known good battery into the suspect tool, then test your suspect battery in a working tool. This determines whether the issue lies with the battery or the tool itself. Use a multimeter to check battery terminal voltage. Below 16 volts indicates BMS shutdown or deep discharge. The optimal storage voltage is 17.7 volts. Voltage above 17 volts may indicate a PCB board fault. Ensure battery, tool, and charger models match exactly. Non-OEM chargers or low-quality third-party batteries can cause up to 30% compatibility failures due to incomplete handshake logic. For advanced issues, if a new battery worked briefly, then cut out, consider a firmware update or professional evaluation. Internal PCB board faults require specialized diagnostic equipment and professional repair services. Following these systematic troubleshooting steps will help you maintain optimal M18 battery health and resolve most common issues. Regular maintenance and proper diagnostics ensure maximum battery performance and longevity.